In today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to sell digital products using system.io. Let's go. I won't stop. No, 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 no. I What's going on everyone? It's me, Melvin, and I'm back again with another video. On this channel, we talk about make money online, print on demand, how-to tutorials, and reviews. If this is content you like, do me a quick solid smash that like button destroy that subscribe button make sure you hit that notification bell that way you don't miss out on any future videos and without further ado let's move on with the content real quick before i move on i want to share some digital product resources with you that might interest you let's check it out so the first resource on my list is plr line digital products with resale rights all right you get a one-time purchase of 39 dollars okay now pretty much what it is, it's an exclusive catalog of PLR products to use, rebrand, and resell as your own. Use it or sell it, keep 100% of the profit, okay? I think this package is amazing, right? You get access to all products listed on PLR line, unlimited downloads for a lifetime, full licenses, all that good stuff, all right? For just one solid price. I think that's pretty sweet. The second resource on my list is PLRproducts.com. You get thousands of resale rights, ebooks, articles, softwares, videos, and much more. Okay. Just pretty much you can narrow it down to your niche and see what interests you, right? What digital product you want to invest in. Okay. Now if we click right here where it says blogging, as an example, you're gonna see these ebooks here for this price, right? So you make that small investment and you can sit here and resell these ebooks over and over again, right? And you will definitely make that money back. Now let's move on with today's tutorial. If you do not have access to system.io and you pretty much want to follow along with today's tutorial, I will leave a link to system.io in the description so that way you can check it out, alright? So it's real simple. Now the first thing I want you to do, right, is click right here on your uh, profile image, just scroll down all the way to settings, and you want to come right here where it says payment gateways, okay? This is pretty much the first step in this process, okay? So just set up your payment gateway, you can click on PayPal, you can click on Stripe whichever one you can actually connect both of them as well if you want okay so after you sit here and have that connected we can move on to the next step all right so once you're right here on your dashboard first thing i want you to do right after you got your payment gateway set up is go right here where it says contacts you want to click on tags and you want to add a new tag okay and pretty much what you want to add is the name of the digital product you plan on selling so in this example i'm gonna put test ebook okay and I'm gonna click on save. All right, so after you sat here and added a tag, next thing you wanna do is go over to funnels and you wanna click on this create button. So once you click on this create button, you pretty much wanna type in the name of your digital product. So in this example, I'm gonna put test ebook, okay? Real simple. And you're gonna wanna click on sell. Sell a product or service, we're gonna click on that. Right here, you get to pick your currency, okay? So for me, it's US dollars, so I'm gonna click that and click create. Now I get to pick an order form. So I'm gonna go with this one right here. I'm gonna click on select. So then right here for resources, you wanna click on this plus symbol, click on this arrow right here, and you wanna click on tag. This is an indicator, it's gonna let me know that a, an individual purchased this actual ebook or digital product. So I'm gonna click on test ebook, and I'm just gonna save that as I go. Okay, so I'm gonna click on price plans. So right here for choose a price plan, I want it to be a one-time payment, okay? I don't want it to be a subscription or payment plan. So I'm gonna click on one shop. Now I'm gonna click on click here to create a new one. So then I'm gonna type in test ebook. I'm gonna sit here and copy that and paste that in on all three of these fields, okay? So this pretty much is the name of your actual digital product, how you want it to be displayed on your order form and on the statements, okay? So I'm gonna leave it just like so. Now for type, I'm gonna choose one shot again. Want it to be a one-time payment. And for payment amount, I'm gonna type in $10, okay? And I'm gonna click on save. Now I'm gonna click on this save funnel step, okay? Just like so. Next thing you wanna do is click on this edit page. So once you're here, you can pretty much delete any field you do not want. So for instance, I'm gonna delete this, just like so. I'm gonna type in 10. So as you can see right here to the left, you can put in your amount you can edit this you know for your actual digital product you can put in the features of your digital product and for the right these are the billing details i do not want to have my form with all these fields so pretty much first la first name last name and email is good enough so i'm going to go ahead and delete the rest of these fields and i'm gonna fast forward till i got there so as you guys can see i actually deleted a lot of those fields and all i left 
was the first name last name email actually I could delete this country section here okay just like so and as you can see I have the name of the actual digital product with the price and then the credit card and PayPal information right there okay so all this stuff you can pretty much you know edit this for your digital product okay online streams and you can pretty much choose your font so I can go right here and choose my fonts okay so right here to the left side so just make sure the actual field is highlighted and you can go to the left and you can actually edit your fonts for each of these fields okay you can bold it you can do all that good stuff all right now you can do the same thing for right here you can sit here and highlight it you can edit all your features for your digital product and remember you want to keep everything congruent so if you're going to use one font for one you might as well keep it congruent okay and add it for the rest of them okay so after you sit here and do that and you're satisfied with how your order form looks all you have to do is go right here and save changes if you want to take a preview on how your actual form looks all you have to do is click on his eyeball here and it's gonna bring you over to your form okay so right here I put test ebook so you want to make sure that everything is congruent okay so it has the payment details and all the customer has to do is add in their credit card information click on submit payment and it's gonna take them over to a thank you page so I'm gonna show you that here right now now we're gonna click on his arrow right here and we're gonna exit out and we're gonna move on to the thank you page okay so I'm gonna click on the thank you page now I'm gonna click on this one right here okay thank you for your order so I'm gonna click on select now for this one all you want to do is click right here where it says edit page to the right now you can see here change the color of all this okay so as you can see I'm gonna click on this uh, this outline here this outer box and you can see the background color to the left you can choose your color right so I'm gonna put this field all the way down okay just like so if you want to change this image all you have to do is click on it hit this X button here just like so and all you have to do is click on that arrow in the cloud and you can upload your actual image okay so after you add your image like for me I just added an image but the image is actually black so I'm gonna click right here on this orange on the outside I'm gonna change this background color and I'm gonna move this uh, all the way to white just like so I'm gonna hit save changes but what I can do is click right here once again and if I want to increase the size on that all I have to do is click right here and I can move the size up if I want okay so it's real simple and just make sure you save your changes now the next thing you want to do right is just pretty much keep everything congruent so I'm gonna change the color of this I'm gonna highlight it click right above it and I'm gonna click on black okay just like so and as you can see it's gonna explain the product and the price if you want them to go to your Facebook group you can actually link it to the Facebook group but if not you all you have to do is just hit delete just like so so I'm gonna delete these fields just like that alright so for this section I'm actually gonna keep it okay so I'm gonna highlight it all click the button below to access okay you wanna put your digital product name there okay now you can see here highlight it all you can bold it if you like now the next thing you want to do is click on the button right and right here where it says click here to join the community for free just highlight that okay and type in something like download your ebook now okay you can actually put the name of the digital product right there okay so then the next thing you want to do right as is highlighted right here to the top left where it says open URL you want to click on that little arrow right there and you want to click on download file okay and right here is where you're gonna to want to add your file for your digital product so you can click on this little cloud click on select file so for me I'm gonna click on this desktop and I'm gonna locate the PDF okay and I'm gonna click on open just like so so I'm gonna make sure I click on it again and click insert real simple and what I'm gonna do is hit save changes one thing I forgot to do is actually keep everything congruent with this form so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click on it and for background color I'm gonna change it to black so as you can see I just kept it congruent so all I did right here is just click on it I went to font type clicked on Google fonts and then just typed in uh, just clicked on poppins okay so you can pretty much play around with this everything is right there right all you have to do is click on the actual field you can highlight it you can type whatever you want in okay you may want to leave this just just how it is right it says the product name and the price and then right here is basically directing them right click the button 
maybe I could put click the button below to access your digital product okay so then right here is download your ebook now real simple all you have to do is click on save changes and you can actually view it as well okay just like so now let's exit is actually click on this order form so once you click on order form you can actually click on this little uh, link button here okay and it's gonna copy it so let's actually open up an incognito window let's paste it in and as you can see this is our actual order form okay so the customer what the customer is gonna see is the billing details okay the payment details which is gonna say the name of your digital product and right here to the left is actually going to talk about that actual digital product, right? The features of that digital product. It's going to give the price, but you want to make sure everything is congruent, okay? So as you can see in this one, I actually left it orange. And on the thank you page is black and white. So you pretty much want to keep everything congruent, all right? So all the customer has to do, right, is enter in their card information, their expiration date, and their uh, three-digit code that's on the back of their card. Hit submit payment. Once they submit the payment, it's gonna take them over to the thank you page, okay? So once they click on this download your ebook, it's gonna take them to that downloadable file, okay? Of that actual digital product. And it's gonna say the price right here. It's not gonna, this is just an example, but the thank you page is actually gonna give them the actual digital product name with the price they paid, okay? And then they're gonna have access to download their ebook or digital product articles or whatever you have for sale okay so it's real simple on how to set all that stuff up remember just keep everything congruent so I'm gonna click on exit here so I'm gonna go right back over here to order form I'm gonna click on edit page and as you can see this is not congruent right to my thank you page but I actually like it I'm gonna leave it the way it is all right so maybe the only thing that I'll do right is add the actual features of the digital product okay what can my customers expect from this digital product and you want to highlight that information right here where these check marks are and that's pretty much it and make sure you click on save changes you click exit and you're good to go one thing to note once you click on order form this is your actual URL path right so this link right here is the link you can see here and use to promote so back to incognito hit command V and that's pretty much the order form right they're gonna follow through with the details they're going to hit submit payment it's going to take them to the thank you page where they're going to have access to download their actual digital product and that's pretty much it that's how easy it is to sit here and sell digital products using system.io now real quick if you're interested in plr line digital products with resale rights along with plrproducts.com i will leave a link to both of these resources in the description so that way you can check them out okay and that pretty much wraps it up for today's video if you found value in this video do me a quick solid smash that like button destroy that subscribe button make sure you hit that notification bell that way you don't miss out on any future videos and if you have any questions make sure you let me know in the comment section below and i'll be more than happy to answer those questions and i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching